Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. Today, I've got some more facts for you off the internet. Check this out. WTF. Make you scratch your head. Maybe be a smarter. First off, we got a couple good time boys here. Picture. And it's a study that found that men should have two guys' nights a week to stay healthy. So you can stay happy and, you know, all that. A former college football coach, George Raveling, was the original, has the original copywritten I Have a Dream speech delivered by Martin Luther King. And reportedly, Martin Luther King handed it to him after he finished the address. It is valued at over $3 million. So when he was done, he just basically gave it to the coach here. It's kind of cool. This is not cool. Genghis Khan beheaded a city of over 1.75 million people because of a one citizen killed because the citizens, so it was probably a group thing, killed his son-in-law. So it was a revenge thing. Genghis Khan went crazy. And this is pretty gross. It shows a picture of a really just black skyline with a huge television screen. Just to like cheer it up a little bit. A video screen shows images of a blue sky during dangerously high levels of air pollution in Belgium. This happening on February 23rd, 2013. It's pretty gross looking, man. It's like you can't even see, you can't barely see the buildings around. The sky's black. It's like black and white. But then the TV screen's all like bling and all huge blue. Looks pretty gross. That is very nice. All right, page two. Dear old President Jimmy Carter said if he became president, he would release all government UFO information to the public. Once elected, rather, he decided not to due to national security concerns. So maybe he found something that he really didn't want us to see. Anyway, <laughs> after the Titanic sank, her sister ship Olympic offered to take in the survivors, but was fiercely declined by the captain of the Carpathia, who was concerned that he would cause panic amongst the survivors. After the disaster of seeing the one Titanic ship sink, you would be picked up and rescued by almost an exact virtual mirror image onto the other ship. And remember, the Titanic was pretty... I mean, it was a magnificent ship for its time, and the Olympic was just a little step up above it. So that probably was, you know, a little bit concerning. Like, hell no, I'm not going to go back on one of their... Anyway, okay. And here. This is this showing the blackest material on Earth. It absorbing a maximum of 99.965% of radiation in the vis visible spectrum. It is called Vanta Black. Vanta Black. It appears to be on a sheet of, like, almost styrofoam or a tinfoil. It looks burnt. Quite quite black, I must add. But again, I don't think I can get the full spectrum of the blackness. And lastly, I think it's lastly. Nope, not quite. In 1746, uh, Jean Anton Nolet a nobleman at the time, conducted an experiment in which he had 200 monks 
form a circle with a circle. No, 300 monks formed a circle with linked by an iron wire. Then he passed electricity and shocked the monks simultaneously. So he shocked the wire, shocking all the monks at once. And he concluded that electricity must travel very, very fast. And be a better way to prove that. Like you could just go a long distance and turn on a light and see it? You could probably measure it that way. You didn't have to shock 200 monks. It's kind of funny. The Texas A&M study invited people to taste wines labeled France, California, Texas, and and while nearly all remarked France is the best, in fact, Texas all three were the same wine. So, this study put out by Texas, they w they just told everyone that these were fancy wines and one was from your hometown of Texas. Nobody wanted to pick the Texas one. They all went for the fancy France one and it was just, it was obviously not. Anywho, there you go. Take care easy, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Later.